Opportunities to play baseball full-time were limited for black ball players, forced to exist behind the color line drawn around the organized game. John Donaldson was skilled enough to be known as a major leaguer, and fans anticipated his arrival in their hometowns. Donaldson was forced to seek opportunities in the game far away from league cities. Barnstorming teams provided baseball fans in the hinterlands the opportunity to see stars banned from the organized game. During summer months, and particularly on Sundays, the national pastime entertained these Sons of the Sod. Farmers could not afford trips to large cities to see the organized clubs in the major leagues. Time away from the farm was costly, and barnstorming teams were eager to provide rural America entertainment. J.L. Wilkinson, future Hall of Fame owner and founder of the Kansas City Monarchs, knew Donaldson's talent belonged in the major leagues. John Donaldson's physical size, stellar reputation, and all-around baseball skills were the perfect combination to lead a barnstorming club to financial success. John Donaldson traveled across the country in search of respect and the next payday. Navigating Jim Crow laws, he persevered and excelled like no player in the history of baseball. It is known he played in 25 different states and six Canadian provinces. John Donaldson played in at least 683 different cities during his 33-year career. Nearly 2,500 games have been found and Donaldson was the star of teams called the world's All Nations, Los Angeles White Sox, Brooklyn Royal Giants, Kansas City Monarchs, Chicago Giants, Satchel Paige's All-Stars, and even John Donaldson's All-Stars packed ballparks across the continent. One fascinating aspect of John Donaldson's career was each day he took a pre-breakfast morning walk. Donaldson experienced America by walking around each and every city his team happened to stop in. Newspaper accounts told of his rituals. One story says an early church goer was startled by an unfamiliar sound at 5 a.m. on his way to Mass. He heard a loud popping sound and went to investigate the curious noise. He was startled to find John Donaldson playing catch at dawn and the popping of his partner's glove was the source of the sound. Donaldson was known as a clean athlete who never drank alcohol, used tobacco, or cursed. Each prolonged his career. He was also an early to bed, early to rise man and insisted on ample amounts of rest. Barnstorming during Donaldson's era was a bumpy ride. His first teams traveled exclusively by rail and after a decade or so transitioned to automobiles. Donaldson was a pioneer in establishing a lucrative route where teams could rely on the income each baseball season. John Donaldson's career took him across America to showcase his talents on and off the baseball field. His legacy is being restored each day by efforts coming from around the world. Donaldson's legacy is now known and we are committed to telling his story. For 33 years, people from across the continent knew of his abilities and looked forward to visits from the greatest pitcher in the world. Together, we will restore his legacy.